Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on what is the traditional territory of the Coast Salish nations. Today I wanted to share a plant tour slash update. Um, I personally cannot intake any more information about the current state of our world, and so I just wanted to share something that I thought might be kind of nice and chill and fun. Okay, so I'm starting uh, in the opposite place where I started last time. I'm in the kitchen. Um, I know there's a lot of backlighting right now, so I'm going to pull these plants down. Okay, so let's check these buddies out. So this one is some kind of succulent. It was given to me by a friend. It's been doing pretty okay. Um, it was definitely stalled during the winter, but doing well now. I hung up these little hangers so I could put some in front of the window. This plant, this um, pothos, I think it's a pothos, um, my, f my housemate found on the side of the road. So we've been kind of nursing it. That's actually not true. We've just been watering it. And then this is just a spider plant that fell off the mama spider plant, so I threw it in. Okay. This beauty used to be in my bedroom. It's one of my prayer plants. Um, I bought it at the plant farm and they called it a miniature prayer plant. I'm not going to go in close. I don't know if you can see these kind of, here are some that are better, some purpley leaves. Those are all brand new. Um, this plant struggled a lot over the winter, but it seems to be coming back. There are a lot of crispy tips and I've heard that is because these like to be watered with distilled water, but um, pandemic or not, I'm not buying distilled water for my plants. So other than those crispy tips, it has been doing really well. It has a lot of new leaves. You can kind of see there's a new leaf right here. And then last but not least, I've got a few propagations going right here. A piece of the miniature prayer plant and a piece of the... and two pieces of polka dot plant. You can see they've got some roots forming already. Right here I've got a... What are you? A primrose that someone gave me for my birthday. They gave it to me in a little planter they had made, um, but it was pretty small and um, it didn't have a hole. So I got a little worried this started to kind of suffer a little bit. So I just planted it into um, a terracotta planter. All right, over here I've got a um, peperomia. I think it's an obtuse folia, but I might be wrong. Something along those lines. And it started out as a little two-incher. It also seemed to stall over the winter, but it's kind of growing and getting some new leaves now. You can see there's one right here. And then a new leaf. And then this is just uh, one of the spider babies. It's doing okay. Next, we're gonna look at this little area. This is where I make my coffee, and there's a window right here. Um, so again, it's backlit, but I'm gonna go in and take some of these down or get closer. Okay, so first of all, I've got these three air plants here, and they are living, let's see. This one is living in a little air plant holder that I made. And it's doing okay. It's gotten some little crispy bits. I have not soaked this one in a while, so I'll probably do that soon. Uh, this is another little guy, also in a planter, a little holder that I made. And so, yeah, that one seems to be doing well. It does not seem to be getting too crispy. I will do a little soak soon, though. And then this is my old friend I've had for a long time. I got both the plant and the holder from a friend. And it's kind of purple. And it's been doing really well. You can see my tea kettle is right here, so they get a little bit of humidity. So I think they like that. All right, I pulled a few down from up here. 
and uh, from up on the fridge, which is to the left. So this is that good old um, Peperomoides, and it has it has also struggled a little over the winter, but it's got a few new leaves coming. So I think it is um, kind of bouncing back at this point. I might try a different location for it and see if it does better. Um, these two were up um, above the coffee area, and this is like that little um, silver one that I'm not sure what the name is. It also has not done well over the winter. I'm hoping it will bounce back now. It really is has just such a beautiful silver leaf, kind of greenish silver. So I'm hoping it will live. This is the Persian Shield. You can see it a little better, I think, in this video, this like really nice purple. It hasn't done well a few of the pieces of it, like the different stems have died over the winter. Um, funny story though, I went to my parents' house uh, for uh, for us to celebrate Christmas and they had two big containers of this growing wild, like near their front door. And I was very jealous and it was so purple. So I may try a different location for all of these this summer and just see if it does better. Okay, this is the um, polka dot plant. And some of it is still really nice and polka dotty and some of it is less so. Um, but it has grown quite a lot. Um, this is kind of a funny plant. I had a little one and it didn't do so well. It was just like one stem holding on. Over the summer though, that one stem just went wild and I took a few cuttings from it. I also got another little four inch plant and um, planted that. So I've been trying to revive it. Um, but something that I noticed was it grew this little baby. I didn't know that polka dot plants did that, so I'm not sure if you can see it pretty well, but look at that, it's a little baby. So I'm hopeful for this plant over the summer. I know it did like being outdoors, so I'll probably place it on the porch this summer. Okay, I know the lighting's not great here. Um, there is Violet right there. And here are my two um, snake plants. This one, is doing just fine. It has really not seemed to change a lot, um, although this little baby that it had last time has gotten bigger. So probably this summer I'll separate them and I'll have two, which is pretty cool. And then this old big guy has been doing fine. Um, it's just really tall and kind of floppy. So I've tied a, a wire around it and there's like a chopstick in there. Let's yeah, I might try to uh, replant or repot it into a bigger pot um, or something this summer. Okay, next I'm going to show you this area. Um, just to the right of the screen is where I have been working from home. Um, so it's a little messy, but anyway, I'm going to go in close so the lighting is better. You probably know this plant well because it's always behind me when I film. This is a pothos that my friend Dory gave me, and um, it's been doing really well. It's getting really long. I'm thinking maybe I should take a cutting and add um, it into there. Although I have to say, I really love the simplicity of like the one strand. Um, I don't really like love when pothos are everywhere, which I know is weird, but it's just my like personal preference. Okay, so this right here is the bird of paradise. Um, she's gotten really tall and I'm really excited to show you all. There's a new leaf coming. I just noticed that. So that's exciting. So new leaf coming. Um, she's sort of weathered the storm, has not really done badly or done well over the winter that I really noticed. Um, down here I've got a little uh, parlor palm. This plant has never done great since I got it. Um, and, you know, it's fine. You can see it's getting a little crispy. So I know these are supposed to be easy to take care of, but for some reason I have not done a good job. Okay, and then moving down to the bottom, this is a newish plant in my collection. Um, I had 
her in the kitchen for a while and you can see she's got kind of a dying leaf. It is a neon pothos and I'm hoping that this spot where it's a little sunnier she'll do better. Um, the first pothos I showed you has done great over here so hopefully. So this one's a little hard to see because of the sun but it is my rubber plant. I just recently put it up here to this very sunny spot. It definitely has not been doing well. You can see it has some blemishes on the leaves and some totally dead stems. I know it's hard to see, um, but I'm hoping more sun will help it to do better. All right, this is a new addition to my collection, and it's a, I think it's a red clover, um, an oxalis. I'm not sure if that's that the right word, um, but yeah, I just uh, put it up here in the sunny spot. And it seems to be doing okay. When I got it, it was pretty leggy. And a lot of these have kind of dried up. Um, so hopefully it will do well. It's sort of a fragile plant. I don't tend to do well with really fragile plants. But it's really pretty and I'm, I'm hoping it will do well. Okay, so you can see right here is my little work from home station. Here's this uh, majestic beauty. I believe this is a yucca tree and very tall almost touching the ceiling at this point um, um, but doing well this is one of my very first plants this the spider plant and the big snake plant were my first three plants this is a pothos given to me by some friends and it has been doing well it has not gotten any new leaves but other than that it's been doing well hopefully it will start to grow a bit this summer and then right here, got another pothos, a variegated pothos that I got from my coworker. And it has grown a few new leaves um, recently, so that's really exciting. I think it had four leaves when I first got it, and now it has six leaves. So that's great. And the last but not least, my prayer plant collection. Other than my miniature prayer plant that is back in the kitchen, these um, all live here. I love them so much because they've got such like striking leaf decoration and um, they are supposed to be a little uh, picky, but I managed to select ones that are not too picky. Um, so let's get a close up. So this is the red Marantha. And as you can see, we're getting some new leaves right here. And this is just like a big, big branch that has grown out, which is pretty cool. There are not any friends growing up in the soil, unfortunately, um, but that's okay. Over here, we've got the green Maranta, and I've noticed some, uh, of the leaves like they usually look like this but some have been coming in with this purple more purple color again you see the crispy edges um, but that's okay a lot of uh, friends have grown up through the soil although I don't see any new ones right now um, but there are lots of new leaves as you can see Let's see where else all uh, right there big new leaf. Yeah, so this one is making me really happy. All right, and now here is a oh, hay violet. Wow, she's never done this before. Wow, okay, I had to get violet down. Prayer plants are non-toxic to animals and my animals seem to love them. They will munch them any chance they get. Okay, so I wanna talk about this one the Calithia medallion. Um, if you remember from my last plant tour, I got this from a grocery store. All the leaves looked like this or worse, um, but now so many new leaves have grown. It is a little dusty, but so many new leaves have grown and it just looks really good. And there is one little leaf coming now, which makes me really happy. 
All right, so let's look at a couple more and then we're done. This is my lemon lime prayer plant. It's very new. It was a small uh, cutting and um, it's doing well. It does not have any new leaves that I can see, but it's doing well. And man, those leaves are just so striking. Okay, and then last but not least, my one of my very favorite plants. It's my variegated prayer plant. So there are like a few crispy edges. I think that was an old leaf, um, but it's doing really well. And if you look, there are a lot of new leaves. So there's two big ones there. You can see the two rolled up leaves. There's a bunch of little ones down here. So a bunch of friends coming up through the soil. Maybe you can see there's several leaves there and there coming up through the soil. Okay, so those are all my plants. Um, some of them I worried about a lot over the winter, so I'm really delighted to see them coming back, see lots of new leaves. Um, it's definitely something that I can focus on that's really positive. So I hope you enjoyed my plant tour slash update. Let me know down below if you've got any plants that are getting really amazing right now, um, and I'll see you later.